Let's just arrange ourselves over here. There's, oh, that's acid blood. Okay, almost, almost. Okay. Yeah, boy. We're ready. Hey, welcome to Front Seat Gamer. This is episode three of our holiday D&D special. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're just going to go straight into it. So if Rory wants to do a previously on in his awesome narrator voice. Uh, yeah. What, what's left of it? <laughs> what's it left of it after four and a half hours of talking? Yes. Uh, previously, they blew up an entire town full of people. I mean, goblins, but goblins are people too. And they got heaps of experience and leveled up. And they've got a cake that they baked in a volcano. <laughs> yep. And now they're noticed that there is a trail of radium leaving the town. Um, perhaps the reason why the radium from the goblin village disappeared. Um, uh, so they think maybe this is, this is the, the thing that is responsible for all the goblins going crazy um, due to... Like brilliant deductive. Well, they were just like really hung over and we just blew up this town for kind of no reason. <laughs> that's, that's also a possibility. Because they did just have a massive party. Can your, can your conscience deal with that if that's the case? I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm going to miss that goblin cow though. Yeah. Cow. Which one? The, the goblin cow. cow. Oh, the goblin cow. <laughs> yeah. The, the actual goblin cow, yeah. not the mother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, what's the plan, guys? You've, you've. So we see, we see you've, is it like a, a glowing trail of like. There is a glowing. It's it's something. fading fast. Yeah. Just like the, the sunlight. It's okay, fading I, fast. I, I, right. I guess we'll chase after. Yeah, we better go. Through yeah, it. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, there's nothing nothing left to do in this town. Just <laughs> walk over the ruins. Nothing, you know, <laughs> we've literally slipped with people, <laughs> taken it over, and then blown it we up. We had a hell over. of a time in this town. <laughs> 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 the poor town of the soul is now. Wiped off the map. So um, so you chase down the trail, but you notice that it's starting to get dark and the soul storm is visible oh, in the distance. However, you've obliterated the only shelter um, for miles. So What about Steve's box? It's probably a lot too far away to get back to before the souls oh, hit. You might be, it might be that your best bet is to follow this glowing trail because if this person's going ahead, they might have a place to... To hide. If we're caught in a uh, soul storm, how long does it take to die? Uh, <laughs> it's not instantaneous. It's excruciating and takes yeah, it's a decent amount of time. You'll stop being stop being able to move after a bit as your soul is slowly pulled um, to pieces. But were there any uh, like uh, undestroyed barrels around from the town? Uh, <laughs> there's that one that rolled down the volcano a little, like that you left halfway up. So the there's volcano. one tiny barrel. There's one tiny barrel that we could put on. Someone to protect them from the storm. That would work, what? right? <laughs> uh, I don't think the barrel was as big as the person. <laughs> oh yeah, it was tiny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. forget it. it was mobile. Yeah, put, it on, put it on their head. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess yeah. we'll just like run then, right? Okay. Yeah. Give me a figure check to to dash after following this trail. What? Well, because I'm a troll, surely I could run further, right? Because I've got long legs. Yeah. yeah Can yeah. I pick them up yeah. and run with him? Um, you'll give me a vigor check, and if you if you think you've got extra energy to spare, then you can catch overwhelming success. Oh man, nice! Let's so I can carry the these guys, right? Yeah, yeah. If if any of them fumble and need it, yeah, I fumbled. That's a failure. I fumbled. I just oh. <laughs> I just <laughs> fell over straight away. <laughs> I'm gonna use my vigor. Yeah, that's a good idea because she could she could carry a fumble, but I don't know if she w- can carry the attempt. Yeah, worthy attempt. Okay, so you're able to keep pace. These two just like immediately trip over as soon as you guys <laughs> <laughs> But you pick them up one under each arm and just gap it. Who's got the cake? I think Blake had the cake. Yeah, no, you, you had the cake. Oh, uh, did I? Yeah. Oh yeah, so I'm carrying a cake as well. You, you, okay, you, you can hand the cake. the cake to me. No, no, I put it in my little hat. It's in your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on your hat. Um, okay, so you charge along and actually in the do- distance you notice a glow. But also, as you travel, you notice that the grass seems to sort of be shriveled a little bit in the 
in the path that you're following. This the subtle glow also covers up the fact that there's sort of patches of black along where the grass was. Um, so you keep running um, until you go over a hill and you, you, you crest the top of the hill and almost right in front of you is a figure um, followed by two others um, shrouded in darkness. It looks like all the light in the air is sort of being drawn into this figure. You realize now that this person didn't take the radium, he absorbed it. Um, he turns around with you and you are momentarily awed by his awesomeness. He's got his... <laughs> Hair slicked back into the sexiest mullet you've ever seen. <laughs> He's got Whoa. glasses, except for some reason the lenses are like blackened rather than like see through, and it just it just looks so cool. He turns around for a second and kick flips the shield that he seemed to be surfing down the hill on. Um, what? <laughs> and looks at you, sort of swishes his hair back, um, spins the spear in one hand, puts it down. And like, What's up, guys? What 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 you doing? Um, <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, you know, just just chilling. What? 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 What's, with, you, the, what's you... with the glowing radium? What's with the glowing radium? What's with the glowing radium? What's with the what's with the glowing aura around? You? It's just how I roll. How about you guys? What's with the large ogre carrying two smaller people? I'm a troll. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, <laughs> didn't, didn't mean to offend. Sorry, I I, I totally respect. I'm famous, you know. Oh yeah, I know you. Yeah, I've heard about your stuff. It's it's super cool stuff. Like real, real edgy. I really like it. Thank you. It's kind of my thing. I'm glad you like yodeling. <laughs> he like looks left and right for a second. It's like yeah, it's cool. It's it's it's, it's like unique, you know. Uh, so what we're, about you guys? We're what? looking for a place to get out of the storm. Oh well, you can come chill with me. I'm like I don't even I don't even give a damn about the storm. It's just whatever, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good enough, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I, trust I don't him. see any other options, really. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you get a bit closer to him, but you can kind of feel like energy being drawn out of you. Some of your awesomeness oh, shit. appears mm. to sort of being drawn away. It looks like there's two people that are following him. Sort of dead. You get closer and you see they're kind of dead-eyed, but they're still like adoring of him, but they're still like sort of drained of life just a little bit. You can see their skin starting to like flake off a bit. It's a bit nasty. Um, Would you... Uh... What'd you do with that, uh, that uh, radium there? Uh, it's just something that happens, man. You know you know how it is. You no, I don't know around. how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, well, well just chill. Don't have a cow, man. Don't have a cow, man. Oh, my God. But, like... I'm talking to some weirdo and some weirdos. Get up. Standing there glowing with some decaying people next to him, and he's telling me not to worry. Well, like, it's kind of just my deal, you know? I just... Er eradicate energy from from stuff, you know. It's no biggie. Has he heard of the eradicator? Have I heard of him? You looking at him, man? Oh. Oh, Steve! <laughs> this is the guy that you were telling us about. So he was. I think we have. <laughs> so <I'm on. laughs> um. I think we have a cake for this guy. Would <laughs> you like cake? Uh. That's cool. That's cool that you got me a cake, but like. Is it vegan? Because I'm kind of doing this thing at the moment. Just, just it's to support a friend, really. It's not for really for me, but it is vegan. Yeah, it's totally yeah, vegan. It's very, very vegan. What's a vegan? <laughs> <laughs> charm, uh, charm check from all of you to try and bluff him or subterfuge. <laughs> Worthy attempt. Fumble. fumble. Um, I'm gonna do a charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it because I don't want another fumble, which I'll probably get. I did. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Do I do one? Yeah, you do. You've just put him some fight. A worthy attempt of not knowing what a vegan is. Yeah, um, he's not convinced. He's like, ah, no, it's it's safer. It's safer not to. You know, you know, man. Like, you just you don't want to risk it. But thanks. That that's really thoughtful. Boy, thanks for that. insist. <laughs> nah, it's cool. <laughs> Wait, we really <laughs> insist. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, that goblin cow wanted to be milked, which means that that milk is vegan because it. It consented to the milk being taken. Yeah. Look, that's, that's... And those eggs were from spiders, <laughs> which might make them more vegan. Look, look, and it, look. the butter probably comes from the same cow, right? Mm -hmm. So it's mostly vegan. Cow, it a vegan. Like, all, almost all of those things you listed. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I appreciate you're trying to be chill. You're just trying to share. But just, just respect my beliefs, man. I respect Are these two people following you, cop followers? They just kind of like, they just hang around. 
You just hang around. How is it dealing with, you know, these followers? Are they, are they... They're, they're cool. They're chill. They just do, do whatever, so, man. How do you make them so chill? They, it's just happening. You like you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just a naturally chilling person. Most of my followers have died. The last few got blown up in a massive explosion. Yeah, that happens, man. I know how it is. <laughs> they just kind of crumble to dust, man. And it's, Spontaneously it's, combust sometimes. Yeah, people do that. Do you want to chuck the... Uh, Cake at his face. No, I was thinking you guys have the same look because he's got a mullet and sunglasses. Oh, yeah. He's got a bag of sunglasses. So I maybe do. there's something you can investigate. Why don't you just challenge him to a guitar solo challenge? Yeah. Do you, uh, what? Do I? And he like flips out like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> a guitar and a bass um, <laughs> and a bass. <laughs> that he's kind of stuck together. Oh man, it's a it's a guitar off. <laughs> a guitar off. Okay, I'm going to need to borrow some of your guys' cards to do this. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> who's who's good? Someone give us a drop a sick beat while we no no one okay. <laughs> Fine. I flick my key to turbo. Just he flicks his to triple ultra turbo. Oh shit! And lifts up and the sort of you see the after image of his hand as he comes down. Oh he my drops god! Drops it and uh, pulls the sickest chord you've perhaps ever heard. Um, he gets three attempts at all of this stuff, so he is going to get. Let's see what he's got here. Uh, he gets a worthy attempt. Worthy attempt. He might be just going easy on you. So I just have to be that. You have to be the worthy Excellent attempt. attempt. Excellent attempt. So nice. You're pretty good. But... My, my fingers are a blur on the keys. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not bad, but can you do this? And he gets an excellent attempt. Oh, as he, also, he mimics yours, but yeah. adds like another bass line underneath it. And kind of a treble line under the bit. What? While oh, also man. like making a sort of... You gotta step up there. Oh shit, I flick all the dials to like as max as they to go. Everything's up to 11. Yeah, I get, yeah. I, I back up ready for a power slide. Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> can I use an intellect? Yeah, you can. Excellent attempt. He also gets an excellent attempt. I use another intellect. <laughs> Fumble! Oh my god. <laughs> he gets an overwhelming success. Oh no. <sighs> Your ears sort of just like can't oh. comprehend the radicalness of what's going on. This guy rocks too hard. <laughs> <laughs> man, it was it was chill playing with you, but still not gonna eat your cake. Sorry, man. I know it's a big deal to you. I know you worked real hard on that, probably. But like, whatever man, the storm's coming, and like sure enough, the storm like hits and sort of swerves oh, around him. Um, some of it looks kind of like it's being drawn into him, but um, it's like we should get to high ground a little bit. So he like takes you to this, this sort of two raised hills as the souls sort of sweep around the hills. Um, he's like, so anyway, man, we can just chill here for a bit. I mean, uh, I apologize if you get like a little bit drained or like soul sucked or whatever, but... Uh, if we stand too close to this guy, it hurts. Yeah. What if we wear anime drone sunglasses? I hand sunglasses no, to it, everyone. And it, it doesn't it doesn't seem to make much of a difference that this energy is I wear like... two pairs of sunglasses. <laughs> you feel cooler, but yep. then you start to feel that cool. He wears three. <laughs> <laughs> um, you start to feel like it's actually like hurting you. You you feel it damaging your soul. Right. You're starting to take damage, but there's no way to nowhere to go now. The souls are surrounding you. He's like, look, man, I just want to just drain this in this world of coolness and in life i guess you just you just don't worry about it man you can be like these guys you can just like enjoy it while while you live i wish you could to sleep with them again <laughs> while we sneak up and force them in case think <laughs> it's gonna sleep with this guy. Uh, well we're down if i'm gonna end up like them <laughs> right enough of this nonsense you and your your weird words and your, your weird hair <laughs> putting a stop to this are you gonna gonna attack? Yeah, attack. Okay, he's he's not expecting it. He expected you to be super chill, so <coughs> you get an, an extra attack before the fight begins. So, so you should try and throw the cake at his face at some point. No, I feel like we need the cake for something. I feel like I should sneak up to him and maybe try to take his glasses. Do we have to use the whole cake, or do we can cut off a slice? Why are you trying to feed this guy a cake? I don't understand. <laughs> I, <Maybe. laughs> I bet it does nothing. <laughs> I bet Steve. <laughs> That was just straight up his shopping list. 
you you were in there a long time. You have a kind of a fuzzy memory of the whole thing. Like these what's, all over here. What's right? the plan, Steve? What are we doing? I'm gonna smack him with a with a chain bolt. Okay. Old. Go for it. That's four damage to that guy. He's like, whoa, whoa, chill. But if that's how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. Do I get two actions? Uh, no, nah, it's what now the start of the start of the round. Okay. So, um, who's actually, I forgot. No, he's the last. Yeah, he, he's he's going to let you guys see what you guys can do. It's Rick Troll's turn. What's the plan, Rick? So you have are fade. We not moving around the board. Oh okay. yes, yeah. So you're you're standing on these hills. His his groupies have taken up position on the far side. He pulls out his skate shield and just rolls up there. Oh my god. <laughs> His groupies, uh, one of them charges her hands with lightning while the other one readies the bow. Um, while you guys are all hanging out with him, not too close, over on the other hill. Um, so you can get across to the other side, but um, it, was anyone right up close to him or not? You're, you're oh, so these are like distance. separate hilltops, basically. Yeah, yeah, you can you can move between yeah. them, but there's kind of a gap, which is now currently filled with writhing yeah. soul, okay. soul streams. It's like, all right. Let's do this then. Now the combat started, does this reset? Uh, yes, yes. So you got your abilities back. Um, and it is Ritual's turn. So draw three cards. Is it the rad dude? Yes, it is the rad dude. The guy with the mullet on the skateboard. <laughs> with, the, with the spear and the cape. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, what's the objective? Well, I, I guess to feed him. him. Kill him to feed him cake. Uh, one of those two. So we're drawing three, yeah. Who yeah. are those people? On the other side. Those are his groupies. Okay. And they seem to be egging the other Jones in to attack you as well, so they're ready to go. They, they've both got ranged weapons. Right. And you have Fade at the moment. I also have Shade Form, which gives me Fade. Yeah, you can't double Fade. You're already at maximum Fade. Okay, I'm going to start with Shade Form, which is the Fade when you next deal damage, discard this and deal up to four extra damage to a foe. Okay. So you 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 vanish even more, but you're preparing to do a lot of damage with your next attack. Um, it is now Dank Frank's turn. Um, I'm just going to cast a Living Plague on him, eh? Yep, go for it. Some of the so souls three of damage. the unread nerds. To cast a plague and deal him three damage and then give him the status. Okay. Status. He's got the status. Um, the the souls wash over him and he's like, man, that wasn't cool. You think Dakness is your ally? You merely adopted the Dakness. Oh I was born in it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and it is Anime Jones' turn. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to discard a card and use my um, weapon. Uh, to deal four damage to a foe in range three. Um, so I'm going to shoot uh, across the hills to um, the nearest uh, groupie. Okay. Um, and uh, I just uh, put my guitar up on my shoulder like a um, rocket launcher again and fire. I just press one note and a laser beam just Burrows into that person. Nice. The, the the person doesn't even react as they get this chunk of their shoulder shoulder gets sort of torn off. Um, but uh, the eradicator is like, nice man, nice. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> it is the <laughs> groupies' turn. They turn to attack you. Um, one of them is going to use smoke shroud. Um, just like you, they disappear, fade it, fading away. So you can't get a good beat on them but you can tell that they're aiming for a big hit with their next attack. The other one is going to pull out their melee weapon and get ready to, to come at you, and they take a step around, about to head across the gap and jump over to your hill. It is now Steve's turn. What's the plan? Um, what is the plan? I'm going to summon peepers. Yeah, it's on peepers. <laughs> yep. Nice. Um, you've uh, all how does he move around? Because he's got no legs. Yeah, he just kind of like wriggles along the ground like a snake. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, and then your turn. So, yep. Are you going to move? or are you happy uh, I'm happy where I am, but yeah. I'll move peepers up. And he's going to do two damage. Two. Ouch. Ow. Nice dog, man. Uh, so he takes one damage from his loving plague. Um, and then let's see what he's going to do. He is going to use Awesome Presence, which is a permanent effect on him. 
At the end of his turn, he'll deal two damage to combatants in melee with him, or one damage to combatants in range one, and he sets his shield to the number of foes damaged. So he puts that on himself, um, and then no one's in melee with him except Peepers, but Peepers is invulnerable, like a good dog. Mm -hmm. um, but all the rest of you take one damage, and he gains shield four. Find more shield cards. We all take one damage? We all take one damage, yeah. Um, and this is just going to stick around for the rest of the fight. He's just going to keep doing damage to you if you're close to him. Okay. Uh, it's now back to Rick Troll's turn. Uh, the Eradicator says, This world's doomed anyway, dudes. Just showing it a good time before it goes. Okay, can I use the Reaping Blade? Is this mine? Yeah. Yeah, that's your um, ability. Leap from the mist, dealing devastating blows, move twice, then deal seven damage to a foe. Repeat this two more times, picking a different foe each time. So I've got the plus four from this one. Yeah, well. that'll only apply to one of the enemies, yeah. but yeah. So you're going to do 13 damage to the first one then? Yeah. No, that's seven plus four is... 11. Yeah. Yeah, good. I can math. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have told you. <laughs> yeah. You know, players are honest, even if the characters aren't. <laughs> um, and he he's like, whoa, that was a radical. Um, and you, so you move two spaces. You can either move uh, around, so you won't be able to reach the enemy in time, or you can move through the, through the soul storm, and that way you'll be able to hit both of those guys for seven damage each. What will it cost me to move through the soul you storm? You don't know, because no one's moved Your through soul. it yet. <laughs> I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Okay, give me a Vigor check to survive having your soul ripped out. Okay, just do a quick shuffle. Excellent attempt. Excellent attempt. You sort of jump and skate over the souls for a second, and a few of them look up and you're like, wow. And, <laughs> and you make it over to the other side and then just tear apart these two. Are you going to end up next to the one with the bow or the one that's closing in with the sword? The one that's closing in. Okay, so you dash across. Um, Slash that one for seven damage, and it sort of actually shows a hint of emotion as you slash away at it, badly wounding it, um, while the other one is more nonchalant as you just deal a lot of damage to it. But it looks at you with hungry eyes, empty hungry eyes. Um, oh wait, one of them had fade, so you can't damage one of them. So I'm going to just undo this damage here, as this one is, this is back in combat. Um, uh, but yeah, you managed to damage that one there for a, a lot of damage. Awesome. Uh, it is now up to Dank Frank's turn. Um, I'm going to move one away. Okay. Oh, I don't think I've already... Oh, that was the one that got hit at. Yeah. Uh, Yes, that's the one that's been badly wounded. Mm. By the attack. And is that did I put a status on? This? You did. You do have a status. Okay. On I'm just going to move one away, and I'm going to hit him with a scatter shot to deal five damage and remove that status. Okay. Um, the status jumps over to the one that can actually be targeted. Yep. One more wounded of the two, and you deal five damage to the eradicator. I will come down, man. Come down. Is Anime Jones' turn? All right. Uh, I'm gonna step away from uh, the bad guy. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Got a name, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, step back. Uh, no, no. Oh, Closer to the edge. Closer to the edge? Uh, no, no, that way. That yep, way. Yep. Oh, you're yep, living yep. on the edge. So I'm going to be there, yep. and I'm going to cast Wild Fire. So I'll unleash un unstable magic. Flip a coin on heads, deal five damage to a foe in range three. On tails, deal two damage uh, to yourself and five foes in range three. Okay. Good luck. That's tail, so I'll deal two damage to everyone. Everyone. And it affects even this trout sharded one because it's area damage. Bam, blam, blam. And you take the damage yourself yep. as well. Um, and that's uh fire bursting from your eye? No, I uh, I slam my guitar down on the ground like an axe and a shockwave just goes out and nice. hurts everyone. Including even myself. yourself. It's yeah. the vibration of doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it hurts my hands. Okay, it is the groupies' turn, um, and they are going to. One of them 
pulls back a burning arrow on their bow and fires straight at hmm, Anime Jones, oh. dealing two damage Jesus. and placing this burning in the ground underneath you. The hill underneath you catches fire. So at the end of the t- end of the turn, deal two damage to foes in range one of this tile. Oh, so the fire starts to spread. I need the, to run away. The but... other one screams in a, a horrifying, painful scream that uh, gives shield four to both of the groupies over there. As you know, it gives shield four to everyone um, on the on the enemy's team. So the eradicator and both groupies get shield four, and. Uh, while the status is on them, it removes the plague, um, which passes over to this one here. Um, while the status is on them, uh, all everyone in range two of this one here, uh, of the group, the sword carrying groupie, is going to deal two extra damage with attacks, um, which is going to be real bad. Just you know, and Steve, it's your turn. Wait, who does damage in range two? Uh, this one ink buffs everyone's damage. The, the sword carrying one buffs everyone's damage. Okay. Yeah, three tiles away from you. There they are. Yeah, What's that ground effect? Oh, wait. The, and the, the one themselves don't get help. Uh, this one here is five. Everyone in range one of this will catch fire at the end of their turn. Okay. Five damage. Uh, two damage. Oh, two damage. Two okay. damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'll move over here and cast it a dank Frank and let's use Death Grip to okay. punch him in the face. Okay. To the big guy? Yeah. Or the one that's doing the, the damage to, buff? To, to big guy. Okay. So you strip away his shield um, and... Uh, he, it says move you, yeah, them. you can move him. Do I have to though? Oh, you don't have to. No, you can leave him there. I think, if you I think want. he's fine there. Okay. Um, and then peepers all take a bite. Oh, nice! <laughs> the two damage. Take a bite. Like yeah. Well, that was nice. Th- and by the way, thanks for coming all this way to see me, man. I appreciate it. You're a very weird fellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's his turn, and he first his awesome presence does one damage to both Steve. And Anime Jones, and he gains two shield. Jesus. Um, two damage? Uh, one damage. One damage. And uh, then he <coughs> is going, he steps up to Steve and says, Time for a taste of your own medicine, and drops Desecrate on the tile. But this is pre nerf Desecrate, because uh, he's old school. <laughs> so, um, foes in range one of this tile deal up to one less damage, and take three damage at the start of their turn. Yes. Does that mean I take four damage at the start of... Oh, no. Um, it because he's think, also got that other aura thing going on. Uh, you will, yes. I know. Well, at, at, during his turn. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, and that is his move. Uh, it is now time for Rick Troll. I reckon we should probably try and kill these little side-fling dudes, uh, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. I think, Bex, if you attack this dude, I can attack him next, and I think that might kill him. I don't think he's got much life left. Well, I've got two options. I can either attack both of them in one move, or just the one. How much will your damage do for one for both of them, if you attack both? Uh, three damage. I think that should be enough, because I can swing at this dude for four right afterwards. Okay, well, I'm going to do the hidden blades. Let loose three hidden blades, dealing three damage to up to two foes in range two. Okay, you strip away the shield of one of them, almost completely, while you wound the one that you're closest to. Um, are you going to move away, or are you happy where you are? I'm happy. Okay, it is uh, Dank Frank's move. Okay. Um, do I take damage because I'm near him? Uh, no, that's on his turn, but okay. you do take damage because you're in the Desecrate, so you take three damage from his oh Desecrated God. Ground. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to move one. Yeah, out okay. of the desecrate. Yeah, and then I'm going to swing it at this guy. Oh, sorry, I pulled the card. But I'm going to swing it in with a steady shot. Okay. To deal four damage, and I get two shield. Excellent. So, um, yeah, you can grab the two shield back, and that is enough to take them out, which ends <coughs> the aura that was on them, the rallying aura. Um, one of the groupies falls. He's like, man, 
that wasn't cool. I mean, they were going to die anyway, but whatever. So he just falls over. Throw him in the soul pit. Yeah, you're in the soul pit. Get in the soul pit. Yeah, you can kick them in just as the the life leaves the eyes. Good, 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 good. Um, It is now Anime Jones move. Man. So where I'm standing, uh, at the end of my turn, I'm going to take damage, right? Because there's... Yes. That thing. Okay. If you move closer that further that way, you're going to be in the desecrate. You're going to take more damage at the start of your next turn. Hmm. Um, what's the range on the thing I'm standing on? Uh, range one. So, so or one around. Yes. Okay, so I basically have to jump to the other hill. Yeah. Dash through the souls. What could go wrong? I don't know. You're pretty prone to fumbling. Um, yep, yep. Got any Vigor cards left? I have no vigor. Oh, okay. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Unless you're going to have some sneaky way of getting across. Can you jump intellectually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do an intellectual <laughs> jump? Uh, that's a, a bit too Can I like, work out the perfect angle for the least <laughs> amount of effort? To... <laughs> I think that's a bit of a leap. No, I don't think so. That is a leap. <laughs> See what you did there. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can just gap it. Can I ask how much damage I'll take if I fall into the pit? We don't know. We don't, we don't know, know yet. No one's fallen in yet. I mean, <sighs> someone was kicked in, but they so were I'm guaranteed dead. to take two damage. Unless you get an overwhelming success. I'm like, going to drink this oil. Yeah, I'm going to drink this oil for three life. Okay. And start your turn, yep. Yep. Oh, you're not as wounded. Jesus. All right, and then um, you're is, gonna have to take your whole action to run across unless you've got some movement ability. I'm just gonna stay where I am. You're gonna stay where you are. Yeah. Okay. Taking the damage. I'm gonna take yeah. two damage. It'll be fine. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I don't have anything that gives me shields. Damn it. All right. I'm gonna use wildfire again. Okay. Uh, flip a coin. Uh, heads deal five damage, uh, on tails deal two, mm, two damage to myself. I don't want that. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, every, like everything I have feature. does damage to myself. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? No, I'll, uh, give up a card and use my actual weapon. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll give up a card and I'll use, uh, my standard weapon to deal four damage. Okay. Um, can I hit the guy on the opposite hill? Uh, what's the range on your... Uh, it's three. Yes, easily. Yep, uh, I'll do that. Okay. Um, that is three damage. You strip away his shield, uh, although the Living Plague already stripped that away, and three, three more damage. Um, you fire another bolt and sort of takes a chunk out of their, sh- their yep. sort of lower ribs, but they don't seem to even care. They don't feel the pain, even though they're clearly bleeding there. Um, it, that's your turn up. Or yep. you gonna, you're not going to move any further. Or you have uh, I can't, right? Okay. Yeah. So at the end of your turn, you take two damage. Yep. You can't move any spaces. No. Why not? Because I use two actions. Okay. One to heal and then one to yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is now uh, the archer's turn, and let's see what they pull out. Um, they are going to rush at Rick Troll and then slash at them with a hidden blade, dealing three damage to you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and then it's Steve's move. He knows that the Eradicator is moving after him. Steve. Right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a dash move. Okay. Just running yeah. away from the... Yeah. You want to make a bigger check the... to see if you can get even further, or are you happy being there? Um... Okay. Let's try it. Utter so failure. I'm going to use my figure. Okay, good plan. Uh, <laughs> That's good enough <laughs> to get to spaces. Yeah. You won't just stop moving where you are. Um, so yeah, you've made it out of range of his desecrate. Yeah. Um, then it is okay. Peeper's uh, turn. Yep. Peeper's moves in. Your dog Smack attacks him from behind. He's like, oh, mm, doggy. Um, removes his shield and now it's his turn again let's see what he wants to do he is not really in range of anyone but he is going to 
roll on his rollerblades, do a quick jump over the hill, lands just one tile away from uh, most of the group getting ready for his big attack. And that will be his turn up. It is Rick Troll's turn. Okay, I'm going to use my Mist Bomb. <clears throat> oh, nice. You and allies in range one of this tile effect have fade. Enemies that end their turn in range one of this take one damage. At the end of your next turn, discard. And this does two damage to everyone when you drop the bomb, right? So that will damage those and damage everyone. All the enemies get damaged because they've all moved in close. Um, it is now Dank Frank's turn. And all of you have fade because. Oh, do you want to put the effect on the board? Putting it's like. It affects both of these, yep, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, well, it affects everything in a square around that, range one around that. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, is anyone, like, severely hurt? Uh, oh, probably half-life. Okay. Um, I might move one space this way. Perhaps yeah, so you're still on the mist bomb, but you've moved away from the bad guy. Yeah. Um, if I've already got two shield, I can't gain more, right? Uh, you can gain up to three shield if you've got an ability that gives you three shield. That's okay. just how many shield the card has. Okay, so like this, if I use steady shot, it's going to give me two shield from using yeah, the weapon. Yeah, that won't add to it. No. It won't add to it? No. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use steady shot anyway, and okay. I'm going to deal it to the archer okay. to deal three damage. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Next up, after Dank Frank, is Anime Jones. Hmm. That's the plan, man. Uh, that Desecrate, that doesn't affect the tiles around it? It does. It does? Man, so yeah. no matter what, I'm just going to get hurt, right? Mm-hmm. What, what does it actually do? Uh, three damage if you start your turn there. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll stay where I am. <laughs> yeah, you're okay just standing on the burning patch? <laughs> yep. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to use Gathering Flame to focus my power, uh, ready to be unleashed, deal three damage to a foe in range two. Is that guy in range two? Uh, The one archer is in range two. The groupie is in range two. Oh, yep, sweet. And then I gain two shield, and I gain the status to flip a coin to change it. Okay. So how much damage did you say? Three damage? Three damage. Yep. So the the creature gets wounded, it has one look at you, and then the plague eats away at it. Nice. Falls to the ground. The plague passes onto... The Eradicator, and now he stands alone against you four. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Uh, so I get those two shields, and then I lose those two shields. <laughs> um, well, because you killed the archer, their patch of flame disappears. Oh, their status yes. falls off. Um, so you manage to not lose your two shields. Um, you are, however, the only one not standing in the smoke bomb at the moment. Uh-oh. So you're the only oh. one the bad guy can easily Yeah, see. but he's ages away. <laughs> Shot. Just shout, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> it is... You're not rad! <laughs> Harsh. Rude. You're just uh, jealousy as your look bitter. It yeah. does. <laughs> really does. I'm, he turns I'm to you and he says, you think you're so cool. I, I like that you've got that positive self-image, man. Keep it up. Um, it is... Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's too cool to hate. <laughs> <laughs> it's Steve's turn. Um, I'll summon Martha. Okay. Martha. Um, where is, there we go. Uh, summon her there. Right next to the Eradicator. Yep. Um, I will move back one. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so Martha yep. takes a swing for two. Uh-huh. And as does Peepers. And Peepers moves in and swings for two. Perfect. Four damage. The Eradicator. Okay. It's now the Eradicator's move. Let's see what he's got planned. I shall be cool, man! <laughs> he's like, you guys aren't ready for this! And he pulls out his guitar bass again and just goes wild on it. Um, and it looks like he sort of splits into two, his image blurs. Um, as he has no allies, he pushes all foes in range three and places himself at a second spot on the initiative, letting him act twice. And he's going to place himself here just after Dank Frank. So he's going to make, make two moves every oh, round. Um, and you're all pushed back one, which causes many of you, some of you, to fall into the soul. 
swarm. Can I? You're okay yeah. over there. You're pushed back. Um, uh, you're push. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Anime Jones was pushed back and is fine. Rick Trolls pushed back and is fine. But both Steve and Dank Frank are pushed back into the soul swarm. Yeah. Yeah. Can we make vigor rolls to resist it? Yeah, you can make vigor rolls to <clears throat> pull yourself back up before you fall too far into the soul thing. <laughs> Excellent attempt. Nice. So Dank Frank pulls himself back up to where he was. Of course. Yeah, so uh, Steve, Steve <coughs> slips back into the soul stream. Um, would you mind moving him back into the into the darkness over there? Um, it is now Rick Troll's turn. You see that one of your companions be pushed back into the darkness um, as he screams out like this. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't think I, I have anything with me. Can you go over and pull them out? Mist bomb will fade away now. Um, can I go over to pull them out? Uh, yeah, you can try. You can just do a maybe throw. Check. You've got a rope and other things like that. Okay, you can just okay. throw it in there. See if you can pull them out. Bigger check, right? Yes. Okay. Good luck, both of you. Thank you. Excellent attempt. Excellent attempt. Yeah. Just when you think all was lost and the souls <laughs> swarm around you, a rope appears and you grab it and you're know, yanked back up with. Extraordinary force back onto the platform. Um, we'll just move uh, Rick Troll over <laughs> to where I, you are. As I pull, pull you up, I let you know I'm never going to give you up. Never going <laughs> to let you down. Oh my god. Never going to run around. Wait, and she would let me down. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is now Dank Frank's move. What's, what's going to happen? What are you gonna do? Um, I'm just going to. I'm gonna scatter shot him because he's okay. got a status on him, doesn't he? He does, yes. Uh, so it'll deal with five damage. That will remove the status because yep. there's nothing for the plague to pass to. And then I'll move uh, hard. one space away, I guess. Yep, yep. I'm still in range three of them, or range two, aren't I, anyway? Yes, yes, but you're at a safer distance. Now. Yeah. Um, okay, it is now his first turn. Um, he. Thankfully, all of you are out of range one of his aura, um, so you're managing to stay away. Um, but he's going to step forward, and he is going to attempt to... Let's find out. Uh, use Stormweave. So he gains an enhancement, which causes him to gain free shield on top of any other shield he has oh my God. at the end of each turn. If oh, his wait. shield reaches 9 or more, he discards this. It stops working anymore, but he does 6 damage to everyone in range 1. So he's got those shields protecting him, and every turn he's going to gather more shield. It's now Anime Jones' turn. Alright. Um, I'm turning turbo on. Okay. I'm maxing out the wobble base. Ooh, oh. Uh, and I'm going to hit him with uh, Immolation, uh, and I also, which is a coin flip, but I also have... Uh, Status to change my coin flip. Right. So if right. it's uh, what, I want what range is that? it's four. Mm -hmm. That's that's in range. You're a long way away, but yep. that's, that'll do it. All right. So I want tails, and if it's not tails, I'm going to flip it. It's tails. Nice. So I do seven damage to him, uh, but two to myself. Okay. That takes away his shield and does a further four damage to him. Hmm. Okay, it is now Steve's turn. This guy doesn't seem to be phased too much. He's like, yeah, I'm bleeding a bit, but whatever, it's, it's cool. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You guys are going to be bleeding a lot more. No biggie. Um, Alright, I'll do Death Grip. Okay. Smack him with a big necrotic hand, and I'll move him back. Back onto his Desecrate patch over there. Yep. That, so that'll do four damage to him. Yep. And then both Martha and Peepers. Martha and Peepers move in. Dealing another Peepers. four damage total. <laughs> yep. That name was just off the top of your head, right? <laughs> yeah. It's great. Um, he's like, well, it's time for me to end this. Um, he is going to... He's only got melee abilities. Lame guy. He's going to skate towards... He dashes straight towards oh, Jesus. Anime Jones, away from the rest of you. Be um, cool, man! <laughs> I thought you were cool! Don't worry, you're gonna die awesomely. Um, and that'll be his turn. It is Rick Troll's turn. 
How far can I move? Uh, you can move three tile, three spaces if you've got, uh, if you get a vigor check successfully, um, and unless you have abilities that let you move further. I have nothing. Okay, I'm going to try to run over that side. Okay. If I end up here and try and attack, is that three range? Like one, two, three? Yeah, yeah, if you okay. go to the other hill. If you can hit him from the other hill, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. Worthy attempt. Worthy attempt. You're going to uh, give up a bigger... Yep, go for it. Yeah, you'll need better than worthy if you want to make it all the way over there in time. Worthy. <laughs> okay, so you move two you spaces bigger, forward. Right? Yeah, can I give up another bigger? Yeah, you can. Okay. Worthy. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so you move three spaces so you can end up over on this desecrate here. One, two, three. Um, all right, it is... That was Ritrollance. Gank Frank's move. Sweet, so I've got nothing but healing stuff. Um, Probably a good thing at this point. You can heal yeah. me because I think he's going to just beat the shit out of me <laughs> the next Have turn. you got any shields at the moment? Uh, no, I've got a, I'm have got. going to cast something that will give me Actually, that shields. works because it deals two damage as well. So I'll move to there yep. and I'll use... Um, watching them from the other hill. Yeah, and I'll use uh, Harvest. So uh, Spirit Swarm around an alley in range three. Um, granting them three shield and dealing two damage to foes in melee of them. Okay, so this guy takes two more damage. So I'm surrounded by sweaty... Uh, yeah, sweaty uh, nerves with breaking voices and allergies. Yep. Um, and you get three shield. I'm in a protective cocoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hold you gently, bro, don't worry. Um, he's like, oh, all right, all right, you guys getting serious. That's good, I like it, I like it. Well, I don't like it when he gets excited <laughs> yeah, for a radical extermination and he's going to use murder on you, dealing five damage oh. to you. Um, and his awesome presence does a further two damage. This is just, you feel your soul being sucked out by his radical radiance. All right. I drew my life card. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a choice of three effects. You turn your pain into pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, power. That's not what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> You may gain uh, three shield or draw a card. Yeah, I'm going to gain uh, three shield. Okay. Yep. That sounds reasonable. If um, you can move towards me, I can heal you next turn. Yep. I'll do that. It is MMA Jones' turn now. I'm going to run towards the edge of the hill. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then I will cast uh, Gathering Flame, uh, which will deal uh, three damage to that guy. Yep. Okay. That, guy. <laughs> that guy. I've got a name, man. Um, it says gain two shield, but I'm or that's yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but I gain a status to um, flip a coin. Nice. Okay. It's like, oh man, it's for, it's the smarts. That smarts, man. Not cool. Uh, it is. I say you're not cool. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Them's them's mean. Them's fighting words. No Whoa. one thinks you're cool. Do you, do you want to fight? Words. We are fighting! <laughs> oh, will we? Oh, okay, sorry. I thought we were just playing around, you know. What's next? What's next? Steve, your move. <laughs> Is that what he says? To yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, well, man, that's confident. Um, <clears throat> all right, that's what I'm waiting for. Um, I'll use Solace Awakening, my ultimate. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, destroy one of your min minions, transforming its essence into a hulking soul fiend with shield 30. Wow, what? <laughs> yeah. At the end of your turn, move the soul fiend twice and deal five damage to a foe uh, in melee with it and three damage to all other foes in range one. Um, so I'm going to block Peepers. <laughs> oh, Peepers! <laughs> Peepers! Um, Peepers! <laughs> he, yeah, turns into a giant ripped werewolf, but still with Peepers his head. No, no, <laughs> yes. And no arms um, or legs. Yeah, yeah. No, what a, he, he's finally got arms and legs now. <laughs> Big muscly ones. Yeah. Dopey sausage dog face. Um, and I'll move one closer. Okay. And move him one, two. Yep. And so he can't... That's he can't not major range. But he can slam the ground and deal a lot damage Do with the Do the, the three damage yeah. one? Yep. Yep. So, so it does three damn. damage. Good dog. Martha shifts up. Oh, that's not Martha. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like a Martha. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, he's he, he wobbles a little bit. But he's like, "Nah, I got this. I got this." Um, he uses cleave, dealing. I uh, steps steps closer 
to poor Anime Jones and uses Cleave, dealing three damage to him. He, Anime Jones will also take one damage from his awesome presence. It's all right. I'm cool. This, 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 this I'm still cool. <laughs> These guys, he says, you guys, you guys kind of suck. Kind of lame. Just saying. And it is now... That was Anime Jones. No, that was his game. <coughs> yeah. It is Rick Troll's move. Okay, I'm going to use Closing Strike and uh, move twice and deal four damage in melee. Okay, you dash forward and slash at him and he falls to the ground. One knee, like a cool like fist on the ground pose. <laughs> like a superhero is yeah, just yeah. wounded pose. Yeah, he's like, that smarts, baby. That was rough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's how you want to do it then? That's how we do it. And his like skin hardens and he opens his mouth and suddenly all the souls from the river around you start to be drawn into his mouth. And you just can you just watch as all these souls just come into him and you see all his wounds heal and like Is that vegan? Can we throw his cake? Can we throw his cake? Yeah, can we? Oh yeah, this? chuck the cake in there. Okay, yeah, you go for it. <laughs> who's who's got the cake? You've got the cake. I've got it in my head. And you're right, you're right up close. Yeah. So you dash forward, just shove that cake in there, uh-huh. stick it in his gob. Okay. It's like, no! Nah! As the cake goes in there, he jams up the soul stream. Um, and he's like, <clears throat> and accidentally swallows it. It's not vegan! <laughs> he's like, you guys are totally uncool. And he just explodes. And what? The cake goes everywhere. <laughs> what the hell? Was he going to do that anyway, or is it that the cake? It's hard to tell. You don't have an opportunity so to ask him anymore. So we're still left the question, was the cake actually <laughs> yeah. anything at all? Or maybe you just, you stopped up getting more soul energy. I like to you... think the cake. <laughs> I like to think the cake did save the day. Yeah. <laughs> there is a sort of t- textured puffy rain of dust around you. Um, like blizzard? Like, like, no, like cake. <laughs> like cake, <man. laughs> yeah. Um, and then the soul, the soul stream sort of like starts to wash over the hill you're on but then as it gets closer it then sort of dissipates and then all the soul stream just sort of fades away um, and just sort of starts floating up into the air and disappears but then you see see among them is a soul with an amazing mullet and cool sunglasses and it's oh like God. be back babies I'll be back for you <laughs> and it disappears into the ether so cool <laughs> <laughs> you succeeded Whoa, congratulations <laughs> Well done, everyone. Well done. Good game. I was too, too a life oh, away shit. from death. I was about to hear you, bro. Don't even worry. Man, I'm glad I got to block papers. <laughs> well, he's now a hulking soul monstrosity. Yeah. It didn't say that ended when combat ended, so now you've got a super ghoul dog just <laughs> following you around. So, Steve, we completed your quest. I think we should have a quest reward. Yeah. I think Steve should put out again. <laughs> <laughs> Seems we got on this quest with this random guy that turned up in a box. It's the least he could do. It was a, it was a, it, it, the quest escalated beyond. Are you go, what are you, what, what's next for you, Steve? Back back to the box. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, that's great. Another. <laughs> you sleep for another 300 years. <laughs> Nothing much to do here. <laughs> This is a bit lame. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be waiting for him next time the Eradicator comes <laughs> back. <laughs> Steve is now the Eternal Guardian. Yep. <laughs> he always forgets what he's <laughs> protecting yeah. against. Really. I mean, it's hard to remember after three hundred years and about thirty different bottles of all various mm-hmm. various alcohols, which you drank in the first like. 20 minutes of being in the box, so... <laughs> 20 minutes down, uh, 300 years to go. Awesome. Nice work. Everyone. Good stuff. Yeah. Shall we, shall we wrap up this podcast yep. thing? Yep. We'll wrap it up. So that was uh, our Christmas holiday special. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let us know if you want us to do, like, more of this stuff. Like, we every year we kind of say that we're going to do more, but we never actually get around to it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was a good time. I, I liked, I liked the cake based reactions. It's good. <laughs> what is the cake? Some, anything? I, we'll never really know, oh will God. we? <laughs> there were some awkward moments. So, moments, uh, I, some visual imagery I could do without. I want to know how far <laughs> off the path did you did we sort of go? We definitely went off the path in the town. 
you you went off the path a bit. Yeah, I was I was. Exp- I mean, you don't put you don't fill a town with gunpowder yeah. without expecting it to be ignited at some point. <laughs> but uh, I didn't really plan too heavily about how you get all the various ingredients. Just knew that you know these various things are available in the town. I planned planned out and we got up with butter in a trench coat. Oh, that that was like one of the first things that oh came up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that is. <laughs> It seemed like the logical conclusion you of where would I find and then based everything else around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How did you feel That's about like, uh, Steve starting to sleep with the town's inhabitants? That that was that was uh, yeah. That was a part of plan. The fact yeah. that it was like an overwhelming success was probably the only like, <laughs> part of the pool where it's like it doesn't matter. He's got to do it now. Yeah. yeah. That is that is the problem with this game, right? Yeah. You guys are in control a little more yeah. than than a regular storyteller would like. This um, this was but, the only one where like. That kind of check was used on like be- between party members. <laughs> yeah. Like we've never played a game a game before where like a party member convinced another party member to do something, <laughs> especially not that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and was so successful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a tiny silver ray. The whispering sweet nothings into his ear makes yeah. you sleep around. <laughs> uh, Rory, you do you have a blog or anything of this game? Uh, not really of this game, but uh, if you follow me on Twitter. At Roy Rackham, then you'll hear any updates for when when this is ready to go to the next. We're ready to go to the next level with this. Cool. Um, and we we did have we have had questions of people being like, I want to know, I want to play this, and yeah, know yeah, about it. it's it's getting close close to being ready to take it to a publisher or put it on Kickstarter or whatever yeah. happens. Um, but as I've just had a kid and that's taken up a lot of my mind and time and soul, mm-hmm. then uh, I need a little bit more time. To, it's, it's slowed down the process of working on this game a bit. Uh, this is the first game we've played in it in, of it in quite a while. Mm. So, yeah, but hoping to get back into it, hoping to get it out there. So, it's cool. I so like it. Follow it um, on Twitter. I like because it's more simplified. I quite like it. Like more simplified than you know D and D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you, you have to know a lot of rules. Like last year when we um, did that D and D special. It was seriously like a week of preparation for all of us. Right, right. Well, you, did you roll your own characters? Yeah, we rolled our own characters. We had yeah, like yeah. player handbooks and we read through them, and it was like a lot of a lot of work. And this is just like we just did like a one hour session, basically yeah, at work yeah. to to learn the sort of mechanics, and that was kind of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I think this yeah. it's it's a nice nice definitely a good intro to tabletop RPG games, but mm. also good for like just. Free flowing dialogue, just mm. unexpected events. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it for uh, for like these episodes. Um, we'll be back with regular episodes in I don't know a couple of weeks probably because this will be like this will be it'll, it's January now. Oh, it's yeah, twenty nineteen. It feels like December, but it's January. Yeah. We hope you all How have was a great your guys, Christmas. uh, Christmases? It was, I, I, I barely even remember it. Yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. It was just a blur. Just a blur. A non-existent blur. Thanks for all listening, right. everybody. Yep, thanks for listening, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Stay safe out there. <laughs> Bye. See you later. See you. Bye. See ya. Be careful of Goblin, ladies. cool that you got me a cake but like is it vegan because i'm kind of doing this thing at the moment just it's to support a friend really it's not for really for me but it is vegan yeah it's totally yeah, vegan it's very very vegan what's a vegan <laughs> well to be fair that goblin cow wanted to be milked which means that that milk is vegan because it it consented to the milk being taken yeah. Look, that's, that's... and those eggs were from spiders <laughs> which might make them more vegan look, look, and it, look. the butter probably comes from the same cow right Mm-hmm. So it's mostly vegan. Cow, it vegan. Like, all, almost all of those things you listed. No, 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 no.